So now I want to go over one more basic indefinite integral example. I want to go over an example where we have x in the denominator. Uh, so let's say we have the integral of 6 all over x to the fourth power. And we can't forget, we always have to put a dx. So the first thing you want to do for this particular example is we want to get the x out of the denominator and we want to write it in the numerator. So if you remember from algebra, a positive exponent in the denominator is a negative exponent in the numerator. Um, so instead of 6 over x to the fourth, I'm going to write 6 multiplied by x to the negative 4. We can't forget about our dx. So once again, a positive 4 exponent in the denominator is the same thing as a negative 4 exponent in the numerator. So now we have a simple x followed by an exponent. Um, so we could. <clears throat> so now we have a simple x followed by an exponent. So now we can just integrate this using the basic method, which I wrote the steps for you on the bottom left part of the screen. So our first step is we want to add one to the exponent. Uh, so since we have a negative four exponent in our integral, negative four plus one is a negative 3. So after we integrate it, we're going to have a negative 3 exponent. So our constant stays the same. Once again, our negative 4 exponent, after we integrate, we add 1 to it, so it becomes negative 3. Our step number 2 is we want to divide by the same. So since we have a negative 3 exponent, we want to divide by negative 3. And we can't forget our last step. We always need to add our constant c. So now we have integrated this function. Uh, the only thing that we have to do is just simplify this as much as possible. Notice how we have a 6 divided by negative 3. And 6 over negative 3 can be simplified to negative 2. Our x to the negative 3 stays the same. And we can't forget about our plus c. And it's always improper to leave a negative exponent in your final answer. So instead of negative 2 multiplied by x to negative 3, I'm going to take negative 2 and divide it by x to the positive 3. And of course, we can't forget to add our plus c. So now we have completely integrated the function. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.